Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 115, and today we have another bag of gold pay dirt from Australia. So someone told me about this. I think they emailed me and told me about this pay dirt company. They're called Life W Gold, and they offer some pay dirts here. Uh, half gram guarantee, one gram guarantee, one and a half gram guarantee, and two grams. So I went with the one gram just as like a, just to see how it is kind of thing. Uh, the cost is $114.50 Australian. It is cents in Australia, right? I, Sorry, I can't remember. Um, but with shipping and everything, I sent my decoy over in Australia. I sent him 129, what did I send him exactly? $129.40 Australian and that um, worked out for me as far as postage and all that stuff. So before we go down and look through this pay dirt, let's read the description here on the website. It says, our pay dirt has 400 grams of dry blowing concentrate containing nuggets, specks, flakes from the Western Australian gold fields. Now, you'll see this stuff looks like it's from the surface of Mars. It's extremely red colored. So we're going to have some cool looking pay dirt here. It's a great um, tip right there. Whenever you're panning pay dirt, always pan into another pan or a crusty rusty type thing so you can pan it again if you don't get your guaranteed minimum amount. The gold you retrieve depends on your level of panning skills. Our gold ranges from 22 to 24 karat. There's a bunch of reviews and there you go. So anyway, let's take this down. First of all, big thanks to my decoy for sending this to me from Australia. Um, without my decoys all around the world i wouldn't be able to purchase bags like this without the vendors knowing who's actually buying it um the reason i do that is because if a vendor knows that it's coming to me they're going to add extra gold so they get you know their business looks really good on on the interwebs so anyway let's take this down to the panna station we'll chop it open and we'll take a closer look at it All right, here it is, the one gram of gold guaranteed pay dirt from Life W Gold. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. Okay, so we can tear this open easily. The pouch is like paper with a see-through window right there so we can see the red pay dirt. Let's pour it out, get a better look at it. All right, so it looks like complete red Martian sand. So when I poured this out, I did not see any gold, and it looks like all the material here is probably eighth inch or smaller. So we'll go ahead and classify it to, so we're gonna classify this to, this is an Arbor Fabricating Jobber. This is uh, about 20 mesh. They call it 1000, but it's, it's about a 20 mesh. The reason we use a classifier to make the panning process that much easier. That stuff smells like the desert. All right, here we have our plus and minus kitchen strainer size material. We're gonna run a magnet through it just to see what kind of magnetics we can pull from this. And uh, a big bonus is if there's a lot of it, it'll make the panning process even easier. So let's go ahead and remove the magnetic material. Okay, so in order to remove the magnetic material from this stuff, I use a strong neodymium magnet on the end of a nut driver there inside of a silver dollar tube. And yeah, there's a lot of iron stone in there. Right here we have the smaller size material. Not a lot, but there is some. Okay, my audio died, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover real quick. So here we have our plus and minus kitchen strainer size material. And also our magnetic material up here. Uh, it looks like little bits of ironstone here. Um, 
Yeah, very heavy material. So we'll go ahead and pan this out first to make sure there's no gold in it. So let's bring over Krusty Rusty. We'll add some water and some jet dry. The jet dry is just a surfactant that breaks the surface tension of the water so the really small gold doesn't float away. I'm looking for little bits of gold. And I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I don't think there's any gold in there. All right, next we're gonna go on to the larger size material. We'll take just about a spoonful of this at a time, just in case it's really tough to pan back. I don't want to miss any gold. So you do a small amount, and that's uh, the safest way to do it. It also gives me a good way to gauge the difficulty of this stuff, even with the magnetics removed. Okay, it's very easy. See how it's easily washing away compared to the magnetic material? Let's see if there's any gold in here. I do see gold up in the top there. Some nice gold. Got a few nice pieces there. I would call them pickers. Almost, yep. That's a picker. So before we lose them, we will grab them with the snuffer bottle. If you guys are interested in learning how to pan for gold, definitely check out my gold panning tutorial video linked right here and in the description. I think we got all the gold out of this one. Like I said, this is pretty easy. I would give it probably a three out of 10 difficulty with the magnetic material removed. If we would have left the magnetic stuff in it, we would be looking at probably like a six out of 10 difficulty. All right, I can see the gold coming through. The very bottom, keep your eye at the very bottom. Look at that, a nice little line of gold. I have done other paydirts from Australia that, that were pretty good as well. You can never really go wrong with a guaranteed minimum amount of gold from any vendor. So, I mean, this guy, these guys in Australia, they do have a guarantee, so you can't go wrong with it. Of course, you can always price around and see if you can get a better return, but that was pretty easy for the big stuff. Next, we have the small material. We'll do about that much just to start it off. And this material feels a little bit heavier than um, like normal beach sand or something like that. It just feels heavier. It feels like it takes more water than normal to wash this stuff down. Yeah, a couple flakes. Pretty good. It wasn't that tough. We can do about half of it. I don't know if you can tell, but this pan isn't seasoned very well. A lot of people buying panning kits have been asking for seasoned pans, and I gave all my pans away. Right here you can see that we're starting to get down to a darker colored material. That tells me that we are indeed getting down to the heavier material. And remember guys, if you think you missed some gold, you can always pan out your tailings. You're not losing anything as long as you're not panning into a river or something. Pan into a container like Krusty Rusty here, and then you can, you know, repan your tailings just to make sure. And there's our gold. 
Also, I'd like to give a big thank you and shout out to all my Patreon supporters and channel members. If you guys are interested in supporting the show, there's always a little blue join button down below to become a channel member. And there's also links to Patreon at clutchgold.com, link down below. This is a very unique pay dirt, guys. If you're interested in something that you've probably not done before unless you live in Western Australia, I mean, this is the one, dude. And the gold stays at the top. All right, I'll grab all that gold up. Yeah, pretty good. That's absolutely, that's a gram right there. I would say it's a good mix of pickers and flakes. And it's very rough gold. Like uh, when I visited Australia, this is the same kind of gold I was finding. Very rough, closer to the reef, closer to the vein. This is like sharp little pieces of gold here. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and dry it out, weigh it up, and I will get a value on it. Okay, so we have 1.055 grams, and we will call it 24 karat purity because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself. If you guys want to sell your gold, check out kleshgold.com, click on the sell your gold button, and I will buy your gold. So we have $61 uh, worth of gold. Now, if we check Australian dollars, that is about 80 Five dollars worth of gold. So that pay dirt, I mean, that was actually pretty good. Uh, we got our guaranteed minimum one gram of gold. You can't ask for anything better than that. I mean, obviously, if there was bonus bag chances or something like that. But I mean, the gold in this product was nice and chunky. It was rough. It was real Australian gold. You can, I could just tell because I've seen it before firsthand. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed. You know what to do. I put out at least one new video every week, and that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.